Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Astro Finance Insights. I'm Osher and today I want to dive deep with you into something that has been on my mind lately, something that connects the dots between health crisis, financial system, astrology and global shifts in power. So specifically I'm talking about the rise of the monkeypox as now seems to me like a very interesting omen for the money revolution that's already happening in the world. Let's break this down because I know many of you has seen the title about monkeypox and other virus, right? But this is something that <laughs> going to drive you crazy, I believe. So like just the COVID, the Corona that symbolized the breakdown of a system of power, of control, the crown, the monarchy, the government, Monkeypox seems to be a very good sign for something deeper, a crisis of money and resources. And I've been sensing this energy for a while, particularly throughout August. I will remind you what I was saying months before. What do I mean in this? I will start with astrology because this is how I'm usually like to begin. August has been incredibly uh, intense month so far and we just passed the first part of it. Today is August 17, 2024 and I've been calling out this potential Black Swan event and I thought it's going to be a war by any kind or a major declaration because Mars and Jupiter met in Gemini so much masculine energy but it's the trickster sign and gemini is what's all related to behavior of monkey i will explain later and also money that is all about the exchanges and rapidity and adaptability and things that we are changing hand to hand so it's all kicked off when venus fell into virgo remember uh, august 5th and it also was the beginning of Mercury retrograde, the ruler of Gemini. <laughs> and also Virgo is ruled by Mercury that just started the retrograde. And in the sign of Gemini, Jupiter and Mars were together meeting. So what happened in the August 5th, the Black Monday with Venus that's ruling the value fell into Virgo. Venus, she's falling in Virgo. And this planet that's related to value, money, and relationship, moving into a sign that rules work and service, gave all the hints why we saw what we saw. But this was just the first hint. Then it was also come aligned with the new moon in Leo. That was the indication of the Leo is representing a gambling and uh, all the speculation that we know that takes a lot of part in market lottery all this and it's always aligned to be called black monday now listen to the word monday each day of the week is illustrated by a planet monday is the day of the moon and it's more easy to follow this by latin or spanish Lunes, Monday is Lunes, the day of the Luna, of the Moon. Tuesday is Martes in Spanish, Martes, the day of Mars. And go forward to Wednesday, that is Miércoles, the day of Mercury, and you will find it more. However, the Black Monday, the day of the Moon, that is the lunatism of theme, together with a Black Moon, with a New Moon in Leo, and the alignment of Virgo falling to of Venus falling to Virgo, Mercury retrograde, sudden shock that shocked everybody, shocked the market. But this is just the first sign. But in the word money, it's part of the monetary word money, the moon coming from the same place. But the astrological event that really has us in the transformative moment is the Mars-Jupiter conjunction is Gemini. So Gemini is the sign of duality, adaptability and exchanges. And think of it like a marketplace of the Zodiac where goods and ideas flows. 
But here is where it gets really interesting. Gemini is also associated with monkeys. Quick, witted, adaptable, always moving. And what are we seeing? The global flow of money is shifting dramatically. BRICS nation are voting on a new currency instead of SWIFT. Gold is surging to all times highs and people are beginning to question what the real value of money even is as governments are printing it without control and still forcing people to pay taxes to finance their wars. So here is the kicker though. Uh, this conjunction of Mars and Jupiter is squaring Saturn and I covered this in the previous video and this is this square is going to last for the next five months around until the beginning of 2025. Saturn is the planet of restrictions, boundaries and the old world order and it's clashing with the expensive optimist, optimistic energy of Jupiter. Mars and Jupiter wants to push us forward like telling people use your own money, do your own monetary thing, don't continue to obey to the old rules and Saturn, the patterns, the habits, you're afraid to break the rules because that's how you were educated all the steam is right now the conflict and we are hearing the World Health Organization declaring about something that reminds us very bad days from 2020 when Saturn met Pluto which I called the end of the old world and who obeyed to the rules that happened in Corona really didn't understand astrology and needed to follow all the tricksters events that happened as we remember that the North Node was in Gemini through 2020-2021. What went back then up and uh, relief and uh, released people was the crypto world that again the money revolution through this corona time and of course PayPal and other companies started accepting uh, crypto to their platform. So meanwhile Pluto is returning to Capricorn from September 2nd and for the last time in our lives. Pluto was with us since 2008, since the beginning of the crisis that we saw, remember, and Bitcoin born out of this. And this is ending, but we are going to go back to end, to closure, this Capricorn energy that is karmic and related to how the world is ruled so far. So... It's a major planetary event that represents the trial of governments, hierarchies and restrictions to take back their power before it's completely transformed to the hands of people. But it's all about game of consciousness. People don't need to know that they have the power. They need to be in fear, as we all know. Pluto is about transformation, destruction before rebirth. We've seen governments trying to hold everything together, but that's not going to last. As I've said before, the loss of control is what we are witnessing right now. Governments won't be able to lock people down again in the same way they did during Corona. We are not the same people. We are different conscious. We have different technologies, specifically those that already learned the lessons and have now less money stored in the banks and others and learned to optimize their life to what they really need and not to be that fat fish in a manipulati man man manipulative aquarium that we, we so far call it a matrix even that we are still having limits always but at least you are following the matrix of the universe a cosmos and not just of a game we are playing so the opposite is happening and it's losing and the government are loosening of control a breakdown of those old structures and it happens whether people are noticing it directly or not as it's a part of accumulating wisdom you could not lie your child forever finally he get aware what does this all mean for money money monkey yeah let's define the money and sovereignty so those old systems collapse we are being forced to redefine 
what money is. The idea of money has been shifting, especially with cryptocurrencies coming into the scene. And now with BRICS voting to move away from SWIFT, we are seeing a global reorganization of wealth. Gold is hitting new highs because people are looking for something real. I was speaking about it a lot uh, in the last years. Also, Bitcoin considered to be a digital gold and we are not going to physical a uh, revolution of economy we're not going to carry so much with us but yeah we're going to define gold in a new standard not sure we're going to the gold standard the way we had in the 70s but at least something more real is showing an interesting indication on the graph Seemly that this is going to force humanity to reorganize itself and to let, uh, I would say differently, it's, we are, all, all what is happening right now with the monkeypox that is aligned with all this astrology, just speaking about the revolution of money that seemly to force us to occur through different challenges and we are going to be forced to move to a new system, to a new form of sovereignty. People are going to wake up to the fact that most of the money doesn't actually reach the majority of the population. I think most of people know, but ignore. This is what Pluto in Aquarius. Pluto always wants us to see what we don't want to see, to see the shit be below the <laughs> below something. And we look on Africa that where the monkeypox is right now spreading so so much wealth and resources are flowing but not arriving to everybody and we know that we are moving to a trend that called the age of aquarius where equality is key and the hierarchy that we knew in the capricorn time is breaking apart and we are changing our order in Aquarius, the order is different and it's pretty much speaking about uniform and also unicorn. I know that it's reminding a lot of people concept of communism. In Aquarius is about everybody has the same, everybody are equal, but it's going to be the good side of Aquarius that everybody are equal by being able to be different to express themselves different and not to be uniform like everybody wearing the same theme and controlled by one boss, one World Health Organization or other. It's about having multiple currency, not just one currency, having multiple communities and everybody still have access to the same sources. This is the real equilibrium. So it will take time. Now, I, uh, I, I explained already. So what's the edge of Aquarius that it's so important for people to be open for by the idea. So seeing all this chaotic collapses, uh, gradual uh, leading for something good. And the influence of Saturn and Uranus rules Aquarius and it's about revolution and innovation. And we know that Uranus is about to move to Gemini from 2026. Yeah. So we have one year ahead of the transition, as we saw already, um, the cryptocurrency revolution, specifically in the last six years, since Uranus moved to Taurus. And simply that is going to be imminent uh, of how governments going to adopt uh, the cryptocurrency before they even become needless. We're speaking about uh, AI replacing human resources and uh, uh, not human resources, uh, employees, but also the AI and technologies and digital money going to replace politicians, to replace government uh, works that absorbing so much money through the corruption 
and money is not really flowing back to the people. This is the real pain that is happening right now and this monkeypox seemly to illustrate this phenomenon that is happening right now and it's projected on people that are not seeing beyond the veil. What does monkeypox have to do with all this? As I've just said, like the corona that was a symbol of leadership crisis, monkeypox is a, is a single signal of, a, of an economic revolution. The system is sick, infected with inequality and unsustainable practices. And now we are going to see major overall. It's now going to be easy, but it, it, it's going to be easy, not easy at all, but it's necessary. So many people are so used to be depended in a system that supporting the weak and it was much profitable to be miserable. So government pay you compensation for this or that. The Aquarius age, each person is responsible to himself. You become your own bank. And if you are sick, you are going to take care of your own health without trusting just uh, systems that will make you more miserable and dependent in pills and others. In this new era, humanity will be forced to redefine what we value, how we exchange resources, and how we connect with one another. It's a breakdown of an old system and a birth of something new. And this, my friends, is what I have to share with you today. As astrologers and as conscious individuals, we need to stay tuned uh, to all this transformation of money. This is one of the main uh, reason why I opened in 2017 this channel of Astro Finance Method, not just to make people wealthy with a trend that I'm predicting the markets ahead, but also to open their eyes for the changes of money and to bring it to astrology. This all the period that Uranus ingressed to Taurus, rising the vibe and the consciousness about economy. Before it was very uh, limiting just for people that not many people spoke or understood money. It was just about stock exchange and different derivatives or things that happening in the bank. But the last five years or six years, since 2018, 17, with the crypto revolution, which with Uranus in, uh, in Taurus, it was all about waking up to new power of money. And yeah, this is... The revolution we are now and we are feeling that is coming soon uranus will ingress gemini or right now that is happening in gemini mars jupiter that is squared by saturn the last trial of the restrictions on government to control the theme but it will not help finally don't fear from the challenges that they are going to project on us uh, keep pushing for innovation and when uranus will ingress gemini pooh in one year and a half, we know already to what direction we are going. Anyhow, thank for tuning in. Uh, share, subscribe, like the video. I'm Osher, Financial Astrologer. And if you want to see more of my unique premium forecast for different indices and markets to understand where I'm seeing uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, BNB, S&P 500, oil, gold are going, you could check the Osher Astro Live charts. Until the next time, stay with open eyes and I'll speak to you soon.